Hi, I'm Hazel and I'm going to show you how I use data to inform my teaching and also to give me a greater perspective on uh, student activity as well. This particular module you can see on the screen here is it's actually an online one. Um, I um, teach a mixture uh, mainly face to face. This one is an online one. So what I do is I present my materials in Moodle and you can see here I put my presentations up in various formats underneath. Then I have my resources listed and then a quiz comes after every topic so I'll just click into um, the quiz here to show you what it looks like so here I go here's a preview so normally what I do with these short quizzes um, because I use them for every topic that would be an average of every week or it could be every second week it just depends on how long the topic is so I generally use a mixture of true or false or multiple choice type of questions and this is uh, really what it looks like um, so the students just have one attempt, they log in to do this and then with the results I can actually um, discern quite a lot of information just at a glance really. So if we have a look at um, the students who have completed this particular quiz, um, there are six students here and straight away without doing any type of deep analysis at all I can see that uh, I have one student who actually um, I would flag as uh, being uh, quite weak or having an issue. So I can identify quite at a very early stage and quite quickly if there's somebody I need to keep an eye on in terms of uh, attrition and also, you know, to keep uh, keep an eye on our retention rates as well. And then if I look vertically, for instance, um, with question nine, I can see that uh, four students out of seven actually uh, got that question incorrect. And that tells me that I need to do a bit more work on that particular topic because obviously uh, the understanding is not there across uh, a broader spectrum of the students. So for me this is a very simple and straightforward way uh, to use uh, the data. Very very easy to set it up. Initially, I didn't um, attribute any marks to um, these quizzes because I saw it as a means of consolidating learning for the students. But um, then also like revision purposes for them, they could go back over the topics because I would release the quiz again for them when they're all completed. Um, and for me to see if there were any student issues. Then I, um, this semester, I decided that I would start attributing marks to them. So for instance, with some of my more practical subjects like um, composition, uh, with my year one students, I would put in sort of, uh, you know, basic music literacy questions about scales, key signatures, construction of different things, clefts, all of that sort of stuff. Pretty basic, but immediately I could identify students who were quite weak and needed extra support. And I could also identify areas where I was um, not getting the information across it's clearly so I suppose as an educator I find it very very useful for me to inform my own teaching and I also find it um, very useful to give me information on a student engagement so are they participating how long are they taking uh, you know spending on these quizzes are they participating at all and also are they grasping the information that I'm trying to get across to them so yeah very useful I'm a great fan of quizzes